Okay, so technical glitches aside, hi, I'm Fabian. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Five Run. So, uh, one one quick question: Who here doesn't have uh, paper receipts in their wallet? I mean, think about it for a second. Or in your purse? Everybody has paper receipts everywhere. And if you're like most people, including myself, what you do is every now and then, wow. every, okay, every, every now and then you'll walk, you'll, you'll look through your purse, your wallet, and you'll think, okay, do I need to keep this receipt? Do I need to keep that receipt? And the ones you really need to keep, you'll take a picture of it, and then you'll you'll throw it away. I mean, so the problem isn't just receipts. The it's a bigger picture problem. The problem is that the in-store, offline purchase experience is not actually intertwined with our online lives that we live nowadays. And so we're actually focused on solving not just actual email receipts, but, we, but the actual bigger picture problem of how do we actually bridge the best of uh, what we come to love on the online purchase experience in the actual store for a brick and mortar retailer. So Fiverr was started uh, about a year and a half ago by three, three co-founders who brought experience uh, ranging from IBM. This is my second startup product. First, the first one was a successful exit via acquisition. And uh, we're based here in San Francisco, and as I said, we're on a, folk, on a mission to transform the in-store purchase experience. So along the way, we've been selected for a couple of uh, cool events to present at, not the least of which is actually the cool events, the great events that Owen has uh, graciously let, it, let us present. So what have we done uh, so far to date? So, uh, uh, what we've executed on to it towards this vision is now we have 250 small and medium retailers using our platform, the largest of which is, is Macy's, and then we've uh, signed up integration partnerships with uh, mobile payment providers such as uh, PayPal and Adyen, which is sort of a, uh, a square but in Europe actually. So the main problem that we're actually solving is that brick and mortar retailers are struggling to compete. I mean, it's it sounds like an oxymoron because brick and mortar is actually 90% of uh, the actual sales versus e-commerce being 10%. But not, nonetheless, uh, they're suffering from uh, things such as uh, showrooming where a person walks in, who here hasn't done it? I'm, I'm guilty of it. I walk in, try something on, and then while I'm there, I'm like, hey, this is great. Let me go online, and I'm looking at Amazon, seeing where to find it cheaper at. So it's not that in-store retailing is, is broken. It's never going to go away. The idea of wanting to try on a pair of shoes or a pair of jeans is never going to go away. It's just the current model and experience doesn't fit with our online lives. So to, to that extent, the really big retailers get it. You have the Nordstrom's, JC Penney's of the world. They've actually created a similar type of solution where somebody can actually check out in the store with any sales associate. It's doable. I mean, heck, anything is doable. But for example, in Nordstrom's, they spent over $40 million actually creating this similar type of solution. It's doable for Nordstrom's. Maybe not cost effective if you're actually part of the other 99% of retailers which uh, wouldn't want to spend $40 million to build out a solution. I mean, think about it. Cloud APIs, servers, all sorts of other stuff that they're not actually, they sell clothes and jewelry, not actually software with, with, within a cloud. So how do, we, how do we do this? How do we actually solve this problem? We provide a tablet-based solution that lets any sales associate within the actual store basically become a cashier, and any cashier becomes a sales associate. So, um, so anywhere in the store, once that person has made that product decision they actually want to purchase something, they can actually execute on that and sell for second check them out and actually send them a digital receipt that actually that provides them recommendations on other products that they should, that they should purchase. Um, if they're not ready to buy, right now, right now when you walk into a retail store, it's a hard sell process. Buy this ring, buy this ring, or buy this thing. They do that because it's binary. If you don't buy right then, you're never coming back. You're going to buy online, you're going to buy somewhere else. We change that one or zero sales process to be in a baby, like the way it is online, right? Using our software, they'll actually be able to capture that purchase intent as a wish list or as a gift registry for perhaps for a birthday or a wedding. Um, and then, more importantly, we don't duplicate an existing retailer's environment, rather we connect to it. Um, in, in other words, all their existing inventory management, finance, and merchandising systems, and we simply integrate with what they have. So uh, this is the second module that, that we have within our environment, which lets the retailer actually display all of their products within the actual retail location, not just what they have room for. So this is sort of a kiosk mode, which will enable them to do self-checkout inside the actual store and push real-time promotions and, and so on. So um, to kind of summarize a couple of the, of the modules that it has, I think one, one of the things that struck me as funny as we're talking to retailers, and even some really large ones, um, is that they focus on, they think the checkout is great, they think all these pieces are kind of nice and sexy, 
But this one, interesting enough, is one that they actually focus on. Because if, th think about it, if you're a large department store, you have 10,000 people across the country who work there. How do you push out promotion, like for example, uh, that, that they should focus on selling Chanel, or they should focus on selling uh, women's apparel? I mean, right now, many of them put, put, put that notice out in the break room. And they say, please guys, remember to sell Chanel. Woohoo, let's do that. Wouldn't it be much better if every salesperson actually had a tablet and they could receive these notifications and actually be educated about upcoming promotions in real time? It, would, it actually, just that by itself actually saved retailers when we're talking to them $25 to $30 a month on paper costs and the distribution of the education. So, I'll, I don't want to beat a dead horse, I'll skip it. I'd I, I, I like to get to the point. Um, Next part about it, we worked with a, um, a retailer here that's California based that sells uh, high-end women's uh, bags and clothing and through uh, retail stores as well. Um, so using our software, the, the bread and the butter of what they accomplish is they were able to do two main things. Number one, increase the average transaction size to now be 29% higher than what they did before. And then on top of that, they, their you know, estimation of the research is that for each tablet that they had using our software, they reduced uh, the need for 20% of the cashier. So that's pretty powerful when you think about the average cost of, of somebody within the store. Uh, this works, I'll, I'll spare you all the technical mobile jumbo, and this basically is a combination of uh, proprietary software that would run on a, on a, on a simple iPad or, or any, any tablet, uh, a proprietary cloud uh, environment that we have, and then we actually hook into the existing mobile payment providers, such as PayPal and others. Um, I'll skip over the technical one, but I think this is the wrong PowerPoint. So, short story, uh, brick and mortar retail and it's undergoing a massive tidal wave, tidal wave of change. All, our online lives are actually merging with the in-store experience. And uh, Five Run is actually uniquely positioned as we have the team, the traction, and the proprietary technology to take advantage of this. So, thanks, thanks for your time and I'll be in the back over there um, if you guys want to have any questions.